What's up YouTube? Jeff back again. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. We're only two days away from the Galaxy S23 Unpacked event. I'm very excited about that for sure. But today we actually have a leaked preview of the software that's going to run on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is One UI 5.1. I want to go through the change log that leaked. This is the official one from Samsung internal. Uh, it was actually leaked by a couple people, but one of them is Snoopy Tech over on Twitter. I'm gonna show you guys some of the big features that are coming. A Couple of them that I actually asked for and requested in a previous video. So I don't know if Samsung was listening to me, but that would have been kind of cool. Also, if you have an S22 Ultra, of course, it's gonna come to you. So if you don't get the S23 Ultra, it should come in about a month probably to S22 Ultra users. And if you guys are interested in getting the wallpaper and icons, a little later in the video, I'll show you guys where you can find these and download them, get them on your phone. But let's get right into it. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded these to my gallery the images, these are the images of what's new in One UI 5.1. Now, a lot of these are repeated, so they just took the One UI 5.0 change log and then they flagged it with a little 5.1 if it's new in 5.1. So let's go through some of the bigger changes. Change the color for tone for a selfie, just got easier. They're going to add an effects button that's gonna be on the side of the screen in the, in the camera. So when you go into the camera here, let me actually turn my location on so it doesn't keep asking me that. Uh, right here on the side, there's gonna be a little effects button right there that you'll easily be able to access and go ahead and get in there. Um, the next thing is a huge one, and this is something I asked for in a previous video. I said, if Samsung could do it, adding Expert RAW to the stock camera would be huge. And that's what they're doing. Um, if you guys remember, I talked about Expert RAW, it's right there, many times. This is a separate app that Samsung has that allows you to shoot photos in RAW mode, which obviously lets you get more detail, bring out the color in your photos, and edit them with something like Adobe Lightroom. So now in the stock camera app, you're gonna be able to go into settings, go down here to advanced settings, and you're gonna be able to turn on Expert RAW directly inside the stock camera. This is absolutely massive, super excited about that. The rest of these things in the camera are not really new, but there is a gallery feature down here. This is start the next set of stuff. Gallery feature, new shared family album. Sharing family with their photos is easier than ever. It will recommend photos to share. You also get five gigabytes of storage per family member up to six people. So that's kind of cool. Not a huge revolutionary feature, but kind of cool. Improved handling. Now inside the gallery, it's automatically gonna remove reflections and shadows. Obviously it did this before. This was a labs feature. We had to manually do it. Now it's gonna be automatic. Search is more powerful. You can search more per person at a time. We've already showed on this channel a couple of days ago, I did a video where you can search for words that are actually in handwritten pieces of writing and find them inside the gallery, which is fantastic. Convenient information display. So when you swipe up, you're gonna get even more information on your photos here, when the image was taken, what device, where it's stored and more. And you can choose a custom location to share screenshots. As someone who takes a lot of screenshots for making my videos and doing research, I absolutely love that feature. Going down here further, photo and video editor. There's nothing new for 5.1 there. And customization and expression. There's really nothing new there. Down here, AR zone and emoji. Use three emojis in the AR emoji camera. Take funny photos and videos with friends, up to three people. In mask mode, you can replace the faces of your friends with other characters. So you can now do that with three at a time. Layout editing improvements in the AR doodle. So you can now resize things. Uh, use the eraser tool. Some other cool improvements for AR doodle. I don't know how many people use that. I use it on occasion with my son, but not a lot of times otherwise. Uh, nothing else in that section, nothing new in Samsung keyboard. Here's a huge one, the new battery widget. I talked about this before uh, in a previous video, Samsung showed off this new widget that you're gonna be able to place that's gonna show you the charge on your phone, your Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, um, on your watch, everything that you're using Samsung related. And it's not been added yet. And I said in my previous video about what we could expect with One UI 5.1, that's highly likely that we would see that in One UI 5.1 and indeed that widget is coming. So that's super, super exciting to see that. The other thing is they're adding a new weather widget that allows you to see the weather kind of in a faster at a glance way. So I assume they're gonna be revamping the weather widget they already have. This is the current weather widget. They're just gonna be adding a little bit more detail to it, to this widget right here. Now, quick break before we continue on the rest of the features. If you guys wanna get this awesome wallpaper and icon pack, you can visit my friend one Four studio. The link will be in the comments and description. This is from the scenery pack. And this is also his Aries colorful icon pack. A lot of people always ask for this. So I wanted to see if you guys were interested, check it out. It'll be in the description in the pinned comment. So let's go ahead and go back to the gallery here. Continue looking through this list of features on the leaks. New battery widget, the intuitive weather widget, as I mentioned. Modes and scenarios. 
There's a couple of cool things. One that I'm really excited about is different wallpapers depending on the mode you set. So we know, of course, modes and routines was something that Samsung introduced. It's right here in the settings. Um, with One UI 5.0, you have these different modes. You can set them up. It's pretty exciting. It allows you to control a lot of things about your day. And now you're gonna be able to do something that I always love doing is set your wallpaper by the time of day or by your location. You can basically choose to set your wallpaper depending on if you're at the gym, uh, if you're at work, whatever you wanna do. You can also have more actions and conditions for different scenarios, uh, change things when you switch to airplane mode or mobile hotspot. That's gonna be added to the modes and routine section as well. Uh, under connectivity, we've got a couple things. Collaboration in Samsung Notes. So now you can collaborate with people on the notes that you have and sync them. Continue browsing on your PC, which I think is probably gonna be a pretty huge deal that's gonna integrate with the new Galaxy Book Pro and Ultra. Invited to shared apps made easy. Basically allow you to invite to different shared apps in an easier way. Media output for Wi-Fi speakers, which is pretty awesome. Uh, something that Samsung actually hasn't had, which is surprising up until this given point. Multitasking, you can easily minimize window or switch to full screen mode um, without going to the settings menu. Just drag one of the corners of the pop-up. Now that is pretty awesome. That is definitely an awesome multitasking feature that's coming to One UI 5.1. Simplified access to the most used applications in split screen mode. When you launch split screen, the apps used most often are displayed right under the recently used apps to help you find them faster. Now this is something that's already on the foldables. So what they're talking about is when you go into your recently you know, your split screen mode, you usually have your apps down here when you're in your app launcher. When you go into split screen, you're now also gonna have those same apps down there at the bottom, which is really awesome. It's something that's great on the Fold, uh, Z Fold 4, and now you're gonna have it now with your S series, I would assume as well. Uh, improved multitasking in Dex. So you can now drag the splitter in the center of the screen to resize both windows, which is gonna be pretty sweet for those of us who do use Samsung Dex. Uh, extract and edit text, that was already there before. See if we can find anything else for 5.1. Settings suggestions. So now settings is going to suggest settings at the top of the settings menu for you. It's going to learn that over time. Nothing else in that one. Uh, maintenance mode. All of these were already here earlier. I'm trying to find out if there's any other 5.1. Improve search in Samsung Internet. This is something that I also talked about that was in the beta for Samsung Internet beta that I talked about a little bit. Um, so that's not really a huge new feature. It's something I've already talked about on the channel. Bixby text calls. Now this was my number one prediction in the last video when I talked about what we could expect to see from One UI 5.1. We were told by Samsung that Bixby text calls were coming in English to the US in January, 2023. It hasn't arrived in January, but now it is coming as you can see in English with One UI 5.1. That is a huge feature. Uh, if you go into the settings menu, you can see currently Bixby text call only in Korean, but it is coming. So if you've been waiting on this feature like I have, very exciting that that's gonna be in One UI 5.1. And then this is just about the devices that are gonna get it. Obviously we can see that, you know, all of these different things are gonna roll out to the S22 Ultra. It's kind of weird that I did notice, if you read this, it says some features are only available on the S23, Z Fold 4, S21, Z Fold 3. I think they meant S22 Ultra in there as well. Maybe they just didn't get the full version uh, written out, but I'm sure we're gonna get these on the S22 Ultra as well. Anyway, super excited for the Galaxy Unpacked event on Wednesday. Again, if you guys are gonna be pre-ordering S23 Ultra, check my link below to get a free mystery box. I cover shipping. You get a free case, a phone stand, a cleaning kit. I love doing it for the community. Uh, I'll be sending out early links on Wednesday to get the party started. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon, future videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.